Yeah, so in this conference, we heard about uh, the updates of multiple BDK inhibitors, including the long-term updates on ibrutinib. The key studies was on ibrutinib as well as acalabrutinib. And I think the, the summary of those updates is that the BDK inhibitors continue to be highly favorable with very good long-term progression-free survival and patients living on with good quality of life. Um, and there were no real uh, alarming uh, so toxicity or other new signals to emerge uh, from the long-term update of the studies. Just reassuring us that what we already know, that these are very good drugs, uh, are continuing to maintain a benefit with long-term follow-up.